Hey friends, welcome back to another video. Today's video is different, as you can see. I am doing a voiceover, but this is not a tutorial. We're gonna have a little chat because I've been feeling overwhelmed lately and it's no one's fault. It's just life. Everything's great. I'm, I'm happy. I'm just feeling a little bit of the burnout from creating videos. I love creating videos, but sometimes they just don't go right. And then I get frustrated and I have all these feelings. So today, while you watch me paint this, I thought I would share some of my feelings with you because I like being honest with you and I like being real with you guys. For a little context about the painting, my son and I, and my husband, I guess, we raised butterflies over the past few weeks. We got this butterfly kit from um, a little online butterfly raisin website. <laughs> um, I used to do this with my kindergarten kids all the time. And I decided I wanted to do it with my son because it's a great learning opportunity for him. And it was a lot of fun. So I needed a little bit of inspiration. Everything I've been painting lately, I've just despised. So last night I decided to get out my gouache, which is one of the things I've been having a lot of trouble with and just paint one of the butterflies, no pressure. And I filmed it because why not? And if it was going to turn out, I would share it. And if it didn't, I'd probably share it anyway, because I just wanted to have a chat with you guys. So that's, this is one of the butterflies that we raised. And at the end of this video, the last five minutes of this video is kind of our whole journey with the butterflies. I wanted to share that with you guys too. I've been sharing it on my Instagram and it's a lot of fun. So that's what you get at the end of the video. So I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about how I've been feeling lately and how normal it is for artists and creatives, whether you're a professional or you're a beginner, to feel this way. We all feel this. Even the people you think that have it all together, we don't. <laughs> we really don't. For me personally, I've been feeling this, this feeling of being like a fraud lately. I, I come on YouTube and I teach you guys how to paint. And there's times where I feel like my paintings aren't good and I question why I'm doing this. Not because I don't enjoy it. I, I really enjoy it. I love that this is my job. I feel so blessed that this is my job. But how can I teach people to paint if I don't like what I'm producing? And I feel like this fraud, this, this person who likes to call themselves an artist and isn't. So while I know that's not true... Those are just the feelings I have. And I've been feeling that for the past week or so. And I get these feelings often, at least once a month, maybe once every two months. I, I'm usually pretty honest with you guys. And it's just, it's a normal part, I think, of being a creative. And I just wanted to share that with you. Because it's important to know that even the people, like I said, who seem to have it all together or seem to know what they're doing, really, really don't. We really don't. I think it's called imposter syndrome. You know, we feel like, we're being an imposter, a fraud. We're acting like, you know, we were these professionals and we really feel a lot of the time like we're not. So that's, that's what I've been feeling lately. And I don't need any encouragement necessarily or, or, you know, support. I know this is silly and I know it's just a feeling and I know it's not true. And I know so many of you enjoy what I do and like my paintings and I'm so grateful but when you feel this way about yourself it's just it feels like nothing can really make it better no amount of positive comments will make it better it's just a feeling and then it will go away and there's going to be times where I'm you know super confident in what I'm doing it's just the basics of ups and downs of being a creative and just being human so I wanted to share that with you today because I thought it was important to be transparent with you and just know that if you are feeling this too, whether you are a professional or you've been doing this for a couple months or a couple years, or you've just picked up a paintbrush for the first time, you're like, what the heck am I doing? I suck at this. If you do have moments of love for it and you do enjoy it, keep going because these feelings won't last forever and you can only get better with practice, right? So just know that if this is something you love, continue because while I feel like this this week I'm not gonna stop because this is something I love and I appreciate all of you and 
don't don't think that your positive comments go unnoticed because they don't. And I'm so grateful for all the positive feedback you guys give me and all the, you know, constructive criticism as well. I take that and I, I try to learn from that. So that's that's it. I just wanted to kind of let you guys know about where my head's at while painting this beautiful butterfly. So let me talk a little bit about my frustration with gouache specifically. I love gouache. It is such a beautiful medium and I see all these other artists painting with it and this is something I honestly struggle with. It may not look like it in this video, but you have missed weeks and weeks of me struggling through paintings, like garbage bins full of paintings. I've just not liked anything. So don't think that this one that looks like it turned out on the first try was just that easy because it wasn't. I think what I needed, especially for this painting, was a little bit of a release of pressure and some inspiration, which is what I got from the butterflies, and that's why it turned out. I released all pressure, and I actually really enjoyed this. I took the time. I think a lot of the time I get really anxious about having to produce videos that are not too long and not too boring and not too this and not too that. So I worry and I try and go faster and I try and make sure I'm slow enough so you guys can follow along. And there's all these factors that kind of, I put pressure on myself. No one else is putting this pressure on me. It's, it's me 100% putting pressure on myself. But this time painting this butterfly, I just let go. I was actually watching the friends reunion <laughs> again for the second time while I was watching this and just relaxing and enjoying it. And it ended up turning out. So sometimes you just need to take a break, release the pressure from yourself to create something perfect or even to show anyone. And then if it works out, show it to people. And if it doesn't, that's okay. Try it again. So that's kind of how this went. And I'm, I'm happy it, it turned out because it was actually a lot of fun. And I think this is something I'm going to continue to do in the future. So that's that's about it. I just wanted to share that with you and I'm really happy with how this turned out and that I was able to kind of get over whatever I was feeling with my feelings about gouache. I still haven't mastered flowers with gouache. I'm going to be honest. They're very difficult and I'm going to keep, keep persisting and trying because I'm determined to, but this has definitely been a struggle. So yeah. Anyway, I this is the end of the painting, and oh, I did add some metallic on top. Uh, I got these metallic watercolors that I'm going to show you guys in a future video, which I think really added some fun sparkle to this, so that's what I'm adding right there, but that's about it. So now I'm going to show you our little butterfly journey, um, and I hope you guys really enjoy it because it was a lot of fun, and I got an amazing shot of one of the butterflies coming out of its chrysalis. So I hope you guys enjoy and have a wonderful day. Daddy's gonna show you. See, look how you can see the wings. Look in the magnifying glass. See the wings?
think? Good. Okay, go look. You can look closer. Okay. Wanna... Go look closer. <gasps> look, he's coming up on the top. Hi, butterfly. Come here. It's right there. Go look. Hi. That's Butterfree. <laughs> Don't be scared. <laughs> he runs away. Okay. Don't be scared. Look, he's just practicing <laughs> flying. <laughs> what are you doing? Okay. There's nothing to be scared of. It's practicing. It's flying. enjoying your oranges? You guys enjoying your oranges? Butterflies. We're gonna say goodbye, right? I found you, butterfly. Okay, are you ready? <laughs> there goes one. Bye, butterfly. Bye, guys. Hey. Hi, guys. I found you, them all. Oh, maybe they want to stay with us, Noe. He's right here. You can come up close. Say goodbye to your last butterfly. What do you have to say to him? I love you. Oh, that's so sweet, buddy. Bye.